voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, There, here I am. Send me. But I want you to think about that. Who will go for us? Right off the bat. Many times we miss. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many times we have a tendency of going for ourselves and not for him. All right. You know, we, we, we have our own agenda when we come into the church sometimes. Sometimes we have talents or abilities, singing abilities, or what have you, and maybe whatever, you name it. And we come into the church, perhaps a large congregation. And with that in mind, sometimes we, we think of it as being maybe I can get into the church and lead some songs or what have you, and maybe it'll be a springboard from, from where I am to some star, place of star. <laughs> but when that's your mindset, you're going for yourself. That's right. In this scripture, it said, Whom shall I send? And when it's all over with, I want you to be able to say, here am I, Lord, send me. Amen. I don't even want you to say that now. I don't want you to hum the song or none of that. But when it's over, I, I pray that every one of us, if you haven't already said it, because some of us already said, had to have said it if you're in a place of leadership. You had to have said something along that line, Lord, I'm ready to go and do your work. Yes. But if you haven't stepped in place at this point in life, it's important that you be the Soberly, I want you to sober that. Soberly be able to say, Hear my Lord sin. Because sometimes we get lost in the, in the you know, the bad thing. Yeah. But at, by the end of the day, we need to be able to someday say, You know, often you don't need to start moving forward in this walk in Christ until you begin to tell you, you you're, you're on his side, you're going for him. You're ready to say, Lord, I'm ready to do this. 